the standing order. An everlasting gospel delivered by God Almighty, the voice of God. Standing order by leader Olomba Olomba Obu the sole spiritual head, brotherhood of the cross and star. First lesson, Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Second lesson, John 6 chapter 37 All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Golden text, John chapter 1 verse 12 But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, the only existing office, brethren, I have no other thing to impart to you apart from informing you, there is only one leader's office and no other office exists. We have only one teacher and no other person. We have only one doer of the word and no other person. This is not a worldly affair and it has nothing to do with such claims as, I am his wife, brother or son, such is not obtainable here. If anyone comes to you claiming, he is Olomba's first son, such a person is a liar. If he further claims to be a king, he is equally a liar. Similarly, if he claims to have come from the same village with him, such a claim is false. We have only one teaching here, so do not introduce or bring in any other things alien to this place. I do not intend to take you much further, let the first lesson be re-examined. First Bible lesson, Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Seek everlasting rest, nobody has the right, no matter where he comes from in this world, to make any claims. Do not pay attention to him for such is a thief and a robber. What you are hearing today is the real truth. Come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Do not introduce any other teaching here. Do not claim to be a teacher, etc., you are nothing. Our duty is, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, those who are helpless should come and I will give them rest. This call is extended to everybody, the children of God, prophets, prophetesses, kings, royal highnesses, whatever you are, if you come, do not be a stumbling block to others. You go about establishing offices for one thing or the other. You establish nations, battles and give them such names as love battle, peace battle, etc. Such practices are unwanted here. We have only one kingdom and none other. Brethren, let the first lesson be re-examined once more. First Bible lesson, Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Re-examine the second lesson. Second Bible lesson, John 6 chapter 37 All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Do not be a stumbling block have you heard that. You impute sins on others but have you refrained from sin yourself. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. But in your own case you impute sins on others and send people away. This should be stopped immediately, for whoever does these things is doing himself great harm. Whoever does not abide by this teaching, which is the only way for the whole world, does himself more harm than good. There is no sectionalism or segregation. I have not apportioned a certain community for the first son or the second son. These things are not obtainable here. We could recall what happened a few days ago, the classifications of the twelve tribes of Israel, such things are mere child's play. Do not introduce what was not in existence into this kingdom, because what had been written is irrevocable and remains forever unalterable. No new thing is done here, what was not here, nobody should introduce, but what was in existence remains so for eternity. Whosoever follows me I shall not cast him out, and do not give conditions to anybody in this kingdom. You call yourself a security man and for that reason you send people away. In so doing, you have already perished. Nobody is authorized to give anyone conditions here. All the instructions come from the Father. All those the Father has given me, follow me, and I shall not cast them away. So long as the Father did not send anyone away from here, why then do you send people away? Who are you to send anyone away from here, who sent you or authorized you to do so? Whoever tells you, do you not know that I can send you away from the kingdom, such a person is demented and is not a member of brotherhood. Similarly, no person can say, do you know that I can place you in this office or the other?
Come unto me all those who are heavy laden and follow me and I will give you rest, and that is exactly what I am giving you now. Whosoever the Father has given me, I shall in no wise cast out. That is exactly what obtains here. Do not embark on anything here claiming, you have acquired much knowledge. Where do you obtain your teachings? Everybody who comes here, comes solely to practice the word of God. The name King of Kings you have been hearing is the name of God, and it does not refer to Roland. The Queen Mother is equally God's name. He alone constitutes the executive council of this kingdom. I am not the one bearing the title leader, but God. God is everything and dwells in all things. For this reason you cannot set aside a place and claim, such is the leader's office, neither can you establish such offices as student's office, children of God's office, etc. All these things are under the leadership of one person, who is God. Brethren, let the golden text be re-examined. Golden text, John chapter 1 verse 12 But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, power to be sons of God, this is the only condition, thus, but as many as received him to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe in his name. This particular gospel should be printed and circulated to everybody, so they should have their own copy. For as many as received him to them gave the power to become the sons of God. Spiritual chorus, we are one, three times, one in the Lord, no more division among the Gentiles, no more division among the Jews, no more division among the children of God, we are one. There is nothing like full-time worker, elder, bishop, pastor, etc. here. But as many as received him to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Only those born of the Spirit and not the flesh, who also believe in him have been given power to become the sons of God. I do not want anyone to stay here and give orders, such as do this or that. The question is, what have you done yourself? I do not want anybody to bring in any other teaching here, neither do I want a situation where after preaching one thing to you, you go and practice another. This type of practice contradicts my teachings, I have seen this contradiction. We have never in the history of brotherhood levied anyone. Why then do you introduce it here, are you not the devil? Why is it, whenever I make statements, you go behind and contradict me? Whatever we do in brotherhood is one. Whosoever believes in him has life everlasting. All those who practice the word of God are the children of God. At the end of every preaching, our Lord Jesus Christ concludes his sermons by saying, Let those who have ears, hear. That is exactly what I have for you, hence nobody should have doubts about anything. I have noticed recently, whenever I finish preaching, some other group of persons who call themselves elders, bishops, pastors, etc., proceed to hold their meetings here. What exactly are they meeting for? What do they want to discuss? Love one another is what we practice here and nothing else. When you say your station wants to meet, what is the purpose of such meetings? What type of meeting do you normally have? Is there any other meeting aside from the Gospels being preached here? The only injunction here is, as many as received him to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Such persons are liberated. Brethren, a stroke of the cane is sufficient unto the wise. He who has ears to hear let him hear. May God bless his holy words, Amen. Thank you Father.